What have been some of the, your favorite tools you've seen, or even some of your clients that have said, wow, this really made a difference. Mm -hmm. Great question. Uh, so my, my big caveat here is that, um, like you, I came from a, a generation that we didn't have the tools. Uh, we, we just had email and that was it. And, uh, and we got by just fine. So my personal stance on this is that uh, a tool, any software stack is, is just a tool. Um, just like a paintbrush is a tool. And the, you are going to get very, very different results uh, <laughs> with a paintbrush based on how you're trained to use it. And so it's not necessarily the tool that's going to solve your problems. It's how you're using the tools. Um, so that being said, the tools that um, that I recommend are not necessarily specific brands, but I think that every remote team has to have five different tools. Um, the first one is asynchronous communication. So you've got to have something, at least email, right? That is like, I can send a message to somebody in a different time zone and they're going to get it and um, they can respond and I can read it at a time that's convenient for me. So um, that's, I think that's number number one. So asynchronous communication, then synchronous communication. So whether that be phone calls, if you prefer, I, I really don't recommend phone calls. I prefer video calls because you've got that nonverbal communication element. Um, but uh, you know, whatever you prefer is fine. So um, just some way to talk in real time. You also need file storage somewhere where everybody has access to all of the resources at the same time. Um, I really, really recommend cloud storage uh, because everybody can collaborate in the same file and not have like multiple versions downloaded in different places. Um, let's see, so that's three. So file storage, um, async and sync, and then project management. So this is how you, your people know what they should be working on. And they don't have to, you know, walk into your office and be like, hey, do you need me to do anything? Like there's their to-do list all ready to go. Um, Examples of that are like Doist, Evernote, Asana, Trello, you know, virtual workspaces, whatever you use, totally up to you, but um, project management system. And uh, yeah, and then I think other than that, um, a space. Uh, and uh, ironically, we'll call this like an office location, right? If we think of an office as the place where everybody congregates and you know where you're going to be able to find everybody else and collaborate together on work, uh, you need that place. You need to have a place where you know that you have camaraderie, that you have access to other people so you don't feel isolated. Um, so for most teams, that's going to be a, a collaboration tool like Slack or Jira or Microsoft Teams or something like that. Um, and, and that's what I use with my own team is, you know, Slack is our office, but, uh, but if it's not those specific tools, it just needs to be a place somewhere where your team congregates together.